As I said earlier, Bill 148 made improvements because of our collective pushing, our collective efforts to increase the minimum wage, to make better employment standards, better labor law reform. We have victories to celebrate. And, there, and not every employer is nasty. So my message to the good employers out there that are not disadvantaging their workers because they had to give them a raise in pay, thank you. Here, thank here, you here, to here, the good here, employers here. and to the bad employers. Right now our target is Tim Hortons, but I'm in the process of gathering information on other employers that are doing things that are spiteful because they had to give workers a raise. So those employers that I haven't identified yet, you have an opportunity to change your position. And if you don't, we are going to be on your front doors as well as we take this campaign right across the province and right across the country. Because we are, we are collectively going to turn this ship around. We are collectively going to make this the Ontario we want and deserve, not only for unionized workers, but for every worker and their family across the province of Ontario, we're going to make this the Ontario we deserve. So folks, all I can tell you on behalf of the Ontario Federation of Labour is thanks. Woo! This, this push is far from over. Today, as I said, right across the province, over 50 locations and right across Canada with another dozen locations of activists, labour councils, federations and workers that are joining with us to fight back because we know fighting back makes a difference. And I know people say, Chris, don't use that phrase fighting back. People know what I'm talking about. So I'll change it. I'll change what I say. We know pushing back makes a difference. You know? Pushing back. So folks, again, my message to the good employers, thank you. My message to the bad employers that are being spiteful, we're coming after you. My message to the CEO, Daniel Schwartz of RBI, don't dare test the solar.